Hey, what's up? How you doing? Here I am again. This time we have one digital audio tape deck, professional unit, SV3700 by Panasonic. I did have this unit on my channel before, but again, we have one that is finally serviced and it's working just fine. And I'm gonna explain a little bit uh, some, let's say, tricks it's a hidden menu <laughs> I did mention that before but yeah we're gonna test it first thing first let's play some tape see how it goes very good very good next track I have to mention this unit is professional you don't have RCA inputs or outputs all you have is coaxial digital input and output and um, you know professional balanced XLR connectors and stuff like that uh, you can use your phones of course to uh, listen and record uh, but anyway it doesn't have a long play it's a SP uh, 44 port and 48 kilohertz device so you can record from your CDs for another analog input uh, this time I didn't want to talk much about it it's kind of used you can see there's a scratches on the cover some dent whatever it is there you know how it goes with those old devices some blemishes here on the door uh, otherwise it's kind of look okay a little bit of cleanup and it's gonna be just fine uh, it's it's working just fine it plays and records and you know like that. it's doing its job uh, this time I wanted to mention kind of hidden menu professional menu so you can see how actually the device is working there is a processor inside that controls some stuff let's say so if you go and press play uh, to enter that mode you have to hold mode reset and pause button so I don't know if I can do it like this let's try mode a reset mode yes and now when i press all three buttons i have that iac number two uh, when i press mode it will show me uh, many interesting stuff there but let's say what we see right now is like an error uh, code for the tape and this is very, very low error code for the tape, if you ask me. Usually I'm getting like 300, 400, which means it's working just fine. And the tape is perfectly adjust with this, that. Uh, but again, what I'm looking is like a working hours. So, yeah. It will not show me, ah, yeah you can show working hours only on the model SV3800 I believe this device has some some other options but I did uh, I was able to check this like error rate which is very important because this tape doesn't have any um, it works just fine and I understood like if it's working just fine the error rate will be very low so it is this is one of the rarest tape that you have that at a rate that low. So let's try another tape. If you wanna exit this mode, testing mode, you just press reset. So I'm gonna put another that, this time it's not gonna be, it's gonna be a different kind. It's gonna be test cam. And the previous tape was recorded on Sony DTC 700 this one is task as you can see the error code is still low 
but it's a little bit different. No, it's still low. Yeah, that this is very low error code for this unit. Let's see some other tape. Uh, usually, when you go over 2,000 error code, then you can hear drops and stuff like that. But yeah. This is gonna be a similar thing, Tascam, but it's DA30, not MK2. The previous one was MK2. Let's see this error code how it goes. <laughs> Still, uh -huh, uh -huh. you see, it's not that low like previous tips. Oh, it is. It is, it is. But it's, yeah, no, it's good. It's good, it's good. That like 100, 200, 500, that's nothing. Uh, I'm telling you like when you see like a high number, like a 700, 7,000 something, then you're gonna hear drops. Right now when the tape is pulling, oh look, 0, 0, 0 0.1, wow, this is fabulous. This is great results. All those tapes are working perfectly and I, all of them are recorded on different uh, units, but I have uh, I think one Let me check where it is recorded on on that unit Panasonic maybe this one I'm just gonna check it No This is other tape. Oh, there it is. I Got one. I got one recorded on Panasonic SV38 Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, I need to switch one switch because the output goes through another that. Now we're gonna hear it. Still low. Still low. Let's go on like a third track. Uh, when we are re rewinding, fast forwarding, the number is high because the tape is not on the head, but now the tape is on the head. Yeah, a little bit higher, but still, you see, there are no drops and everything. I know the tape that I put inside is problematic. That's why I put it inside. So yeah, you get out of this mode with the reset. Even if the error number is high, the correction is still there and the tape is playing just fine. Uh, the unit is recording just fine. Uh, everything that I try, fast forward, rewind, indexing, all of it, it's working just fine. So. I have no complaints on this unit. Maybe the it's not like new, but it's working great. And on some tapes, I'm noticing like uh, almost zero error rates, so which is very great. I don't know how much time this this unit has on it. Oh, we hear some New York sound, street sound. Look at that! Ah, happy crowd. Or maybe they're killing each other, who knows? You never know. Happiness and killing each other, it's a thin line. <laughs> when you hear all that sounds. Anyway, today I did I never... Today I didn't hear any uh, ambulance siren. Maybe a little bit of firefighters, but that's all. It was kind of... You know, like an easy day. <laughs> That's why the music is easy. And as always, I will include one tip when I sell this device. If you are watching this video and you're gonna buy this unit, you're gonna have one tip. Maybe this one, who knows? <laughs> uh, so you can test it before you use yours. And I think this one, this unit is working just fine and it's ready to be, uh, you know, ready for a new owner who will probably transfer old tapes to a computer or maybe even 
play the tapes, record something, who knows? This is kind of vintage thing, you know, it's a hobby. We all like to use it. Uh, you know, we cannot play music from computer, but when I press play here, I, I feel powerful. <laughs> I feel power. <laughs> and that mechanical thing, something is spinning, that's always something that is fascinating me. I didn't like turntables that much and, and, and real tapes and stuff, but cassette tapes that I like them because they're a mechanical, but also digital, also electronic and you know, that's why I like all those uh, vintage hi-fi or professional or whatever recording soft uh, units. The sound is great. I bet they put much better DA converter here than in some other devices that you can buy much more expensive right now. Crazy. I like it. And I have probably two or three more of the same kind of units that I have to work on it. But this one, this was a successful project. Very successful. Because it's working, whatever I tell them, like rewind, fast forward, skip, do this, stop, play. It's all fine and dandy. <laughs> and maybe you're a lucky guy, you can get a remote control. I see a remote sensor for it, so it can be a... Um, hi-fi unit uh, the tricky thing is like a badge color right but again if you see this professional shuttle search and you know like stuff like that you know they are entering the professional waters <laughs> i like it i like it did i mention that i like yes you did take care see you next time